In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a TI-84 graphing calculator to find the inverse of a matrix. And so in this particular example, this is the matrix that we're going to use. Okay. By the way, you can also use a TI-83 graphing calculator. So the first thing is to go ahead and um, store this matrix into our calculator. So we're going to go to second matrix. And here's the different variables that we can use to store that matrix. Under math, um, these are the different operations you can use on matrices. And then under edit, this is where we're going to um, store our matrix. Okay. So in this case, let's go ahead and store our matrix into, into B. Okay. So you can either scroll down or you can select this by number. Okay. So since I'm since we want to store this in B, so I'm going to select two here, okay, and then it's going to ask you how many rows and columns. So in this case, we have three rows and three columns. Okay, so put in three, so we have three rows and three columns. Okay, and so now we're going to go ahead and put in our entries. Okay, so we have minus three, one minus four. Okay, for the second row, we have two, five, and two. And then for the third row, we have five, zero, and seven. All right, so there's our matrix, okay? And it's already saved into the variable B. So we can go ahead and get out of this by hitting second mode that will quit out of this. And so now we can go ahead, since we have our matrix, we can go ahead and find the inverse of that. So to do that, we go to second matrix. Okay. And we select the variable that we stored that into. Okay. So again, you can select the number or you can sc scroll down and hit enter. Okay. All right, and then we can go ahead and use this x to the minus one. That is the universal command for inverse. Okay, and then hit enter. And so this gives us our inverse of the matrix. Okay, so you can scroll over to see the rest of this. Okay, and let's say that we want this in terms of rational numbers instead of decimals. So what you can do is go to math and select the first option. And so that's going to take the answer and put it into fractional form. And there you go. So this is the inverse of the matrix A in terms of rational numbers. Okay. All right. So, um, so again, this was a, a way to use a TI-84 graphing calculator to find the inverse of a matrix.